So Robert, what is one of your favorite foods? Steak and lobster. Hmm, well, have you caught a steak lately? No, I caught a lobster. Well, let's go see that. All right, let's get hooked up and head to the Florida Keys. That's right, it's the summer of 2020 lobster mini season. Let's go get them bugs. We got a few lobsters this morning and they're not happy. No, he's not happy at all. Being out of the water. He's like a tail flipper. Hopefully you're enjoying the scenery here in the Florida Keys. It's always beautiful here. We'll be camping in Bahia Honda State Park and heading out on the boat to show you how I catch lobsters and then we're gonna clean them and cook them. Let's do this. And here we go. Just look how beautiful the water is. Nice and clear and easy to see. Now let's go find a lobster. Yep, he's down there. Let me go up for some more air and come down and catch him. All right, we gotta tickle him out of the hole and then get the loop open and loop him from behind. Boom, that's how you do it. Now we gotta measure him and get him on a boat. My nephew missed one, so let me see if I can swoop down there and get this one. He's already out of the hole and free on the bottom. Boom! Nice. Barely got him. He's caught now. We made it back to the dock and now we gotta get the lobsters out in the bag and get them over to the cleaning table. Some big lobsters. Look at that bag. Sweet. Yeah, look at that. This is the reason we come this time of year is to catch those lobsters. Look at that, that's quite a nice haul. The following scene may be disturbing for some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Water is real important because when you cut them, the fluid that comes out of them will harden re really quick and become like resin, like fiberglass resin. So you have to rinse that off everything you use to clean the lobster. Or the, the table, the knife, Gloves, everything has to be rinsed right away. So, this is one way to do it. We take the antenna, we use the antenna later, so we break it off, kind of. 
right there and you save that. This one may be usable, maybe not. Okay, that'll be later. So uh, small lobsters like this, there's not a lot of meat in the legs. So some people eat legs and up here there's some meat. But on these little ones, there's not a lot. Really soft. falls apart. A lot of people come, will be out here asking for the heads because um, they make a soup with the heads. Let me get a close up of that. When you're cooking. That's it's a little. And you put it in almost so that way the barbs pull it out. Mm -hmm. The little barbs on the antenna. Pull it out. Pull it out. And the fish are eating it. They are coming. The fish and the pelicans and everything is out here. We've been here where we had to wait in line for this table. And you want to wear gloves because it's very, sh everything's sharp, pointy. It just comes right out. One of little kid sneezes. Hey. That big old snot thing. Snail trail. All right, so see here, we got this yep. four tails clean. Ready to get frozen or eaten. And that's that'll do it. So that's our. Quick, uh, lobster clean. Yeah, lobster clean. Now, after we clean the lobster, we're going to prep them for uh, eating, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to cook them. Now, this is there's many ways you can cook a lobster. I'm not a chef, so you can broil them, you can boil them, uh, you can grill them. In this instance, we're going to do kind of like a broil. So, I'm going to take the meat out of the shell. So this is the tail that we uh, took off the, it's partially frozen. We just took it off this morning, put it in the freezer. So, Fresh from the ocean. Yes, and this is the, like, they're like ribs here. And they're really hard to get through. And of course the shell, it's really hard. So you get these really nice, strong scissors and you go just below the surface. So you're pushing the blade just below the surface and you get these really good scissors and cut it all the way to the tail to the rectum right there now the lighting's not the greatest so now i'm going to do just for the sake of ease of removal i'm doing the same thing on the on the hard shell now here's where it gets really hard you can hear it it's like hard like a crab shell and then you want to peel that off. Sometimes it's hard, sometimes it's easy. Depends on the age of uh, the lobster and between molts. This lobster has just molted, it's really soft. See that? This is the actual shell. It's very squishy. When it just got out of a molt, it means it shedded its old hard shell, and now the new shell hasn't had a chance to harden yet, so it's really soft. So, this one is hard and it's coming off pretty easy, as you can see here. And everybody does theirs differently. You can cook it like on the half shell. Right, some people do that. They, they cook it with the half shell and it kind of traps the butter and the stuff in there. Another thing some people do, which I'll do it with, the, with, uh, with this, uh, is you trim off the outer molt. See, this is a new molt, a 
a new outer skin coming. So you got, that's when they grow, they get rid of their hard shell and grow a new hard shell. So this is the new hard shell coming up. You can see those spots where it's actually like. Right. So this is color. actually pretty tough sometimes when you want to chew on it. So sometimes, you know, you can trim it off. It, you lose a little meat when you do that, but you can option to, to try to trim some of this off. But this was actually pretty soft, so it's not that bad. Yeah, lobsters come in many different colors, and there's no rhyme or reason why. People try to come up with theories why they have different colors. Some are darker orange, some are brown, some are kind of on the purple side. So they don't necessarily seem to affect the flavor. So this is all pretty tender. So we can rinse this off. So again, it's all a personal preference. If you don't mind a little tougher skin, you can leave it on. That's what's kind of good about this molted one. It's already kind of soft. So you can kind of try to separate the skin like that. Peel it, let me turn that off. And peel it off. And see, this is actually really tender because it's a freshly molted lobster. So that won't be chewy. And another key to any seafood, again, I'm not a chef. I don't do a lot of seafood, but I've noticed that seafood is gets tough when you overcook it. So lobster is no different. The key to cooking lobster is like, kind of like shrimp, similar, except lobster tail is thick. So one thing you can do to help it cut, I um, cook a little more evenly, is you can just cut it into smaller pieces. Just like that. So this will help it broil so you don't have such a thick piece of meat to cook. This is a pan I, I, I like because it has the sides on it. So you can pull up the oil and the butter. So I'm gonna go ahead and dry all this water out first and then uh, put the lobster tail back in there. So I'm gonna do that now. And put it back in the bag temporarily here. I'll see that water, I can get rid of that. All right, so now we're clean. This pan has been overcooked. You can see the burning. It's not dirty, it's just been boiled a lot. We've used it, for sure. You can do this with aluminum foil too. I used to do it all the time with aluminum foil. Just make a, a pan just like this with aluminum foil and cradle it just like this. All right, now I gotta get uh, our, all our spices. You can use whatever spice you want. Adobo, uh, Zatarans, or what's the other one you use for fish? Old Bay. Old Bay, whatever you Butter, want. Garlic. I like uh, all kinds of different things, it depends on my mood. Sometimes I like the Caribbean jerk. It gives it a kick because it has cayenne pepper in it, but not too spicy. So, uh, let's see, we're gonna flip this like that and I'm gonna do sherry's with adobo all right now this is one of my favorites from McCormick Caribbean jerk Oh, yeah, you got to be careful, it'll come a little too much. All right, get some olive oil here. And you can add whatever you want, garlic, some 
butter. We got this from Sam's Club. It's already got the garlic in it with Parmesan cheese and basil. So we're gonna... We use it a lot for our veggies. It does work great for veggies. And you don't have to go crazy with the butter if you're gonna melt butter and dip dip your tail oh, yeah. in butter. So it's it's all a personal thing. This is just a little extra. All right. Yum. Now we got the toaster oven, <clears throat> 500 degrees broil. The timer starts when you turn on the broil because it comes on the full full power. So the timer is irrelevant. Butter in here. So we're gonna move it to the side. And then we're gonna put the lobster in here. Very carefully. All right, so it's just went past the five minute mark. So about two minutes, we'll, we'll check on it. Make sure it's not getting too hot. All right, let's see what the lobster tail look like. Oh yeah, it's looking really good. Yeah, looking really good. The butter looks done. Let's take that out. All right. Okay. There we go. Really slow. See those grooves? Yeah. You can just put that right on top of the toaster oven. Just keep on melting. Yeah. I think in about one minute, the lobsters will be done. So we can move this. There. Oh yeah, 20 seconds. Looking great. I'm gonna flip the camera around. Look at that. That is perfection. Yep. Beautiful. Nice and white, not translucent. Looks like shrimp. Oh yeah, I can't wait to get that in on our plates. Let's take a picture. There's dinner. With the butter. Mm -hmm. More dinner. More dinner. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Hey, I hope you liked the video. If you did, hit the like button and please subscribe. And don't forget, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time we upload a new video. Thanks for watching RV Weekend.